Hey everyone, so what I'm going to do today is show you my workspace in Notion. As some of you have seen, I recently got the Notion Essential Certification. Uh, a number of you have asked, how do you use it? What is it? What can it replace? In short, what Notion is, is a productivity management tool. So think about your OneNotes, think about your Monday.coms, think about task managers. OneNote they're, they're great solutions, right? But a lot of times you feel like you're really just kind of pinned into using their way of working, their templates, and they don't really play well. There's not a lot of APIs or integrations. Well, Notion essentially takes all of that and allows you to create your own world. So what you're looking at here is essentially my big workspace, which a lot of people who go into this amount of detail actually call it a life operating system. And I'm gonna give you an overview of a few things. I'll dig into a few things that I really like to go over. And then we'll leave some other videos where you guys have detailed questions and we can talk into it. So there's four major areas of my workspace. So first is focus and alignment. So alignment means that I don't take any actions or projects or unless they're aligned with my personal values or my schema, uh, some of the outcome goals that I wanna do. And then I have my daily action zone, which are things that I take care of a daily on a daily basis. So I have certain habits I want to track, certain habits I don't want to do, things that I want to improve. And then I have numbers, numerous different projects. Some are academic, some are based on certifications, some are based on personal growth. And then you have to have a way to track it. So one of the things I, I want to show you before I go into this is essentially how the program is structured. So if I go into what is called the philosophical framework, which is basically the hierarchy. Just kind of keep this in mind. What I have at the top is the schema, which a schema is a very fancy word for saying what makes you you. Uh, your core values, what do you actually like in life? What do you want to achieve? Now your core values is what you like and, and you know the principles, the ideals, beliefs, but then you have to have, have to have goals as well. Like what do you want to do with this? What do you want to achieve? And these are very big aspirational Sometimes they're small goals, six months, years, three, five, ten years, and so forth. And every value goal then has a goal outcome. What is the definition of done if you guys come from an agile background? And these these outcomes, they sometimes they're one-off. Maybe you can just do one big thing and get it done, but that's not likely the case. What's likely the case is an outcome for me was to obtain a good reputation of creating valuable content for new new employees as well as new professionals, new researchers. And so for that outcome, I may have several different projects where I'm either volunteering, where I'm creating new software, new tools, I'm writing articles, and I'm gonna track those projects every year. Now with projects, they typically get behind because there's like numerous action items, right? So those action items are things that essentially I plan for the week. So me in particular, Sunday is my planning day. I will actually essentially put myself on a one week sprint and create all my action items. And then there's habits that I track every day. Some of those could be reading 10, 15% of a book. The other one may be doing 10,000 steps and so forth. So just kind of keep this in mind as we take a look at this. So going back to the home page. We're gonna to go to the daily action zone. I'm gonna walk you through how this works and also give you some tips on what you can do yourself. So at the top here, this is where I primarily work. The first thing I like to do is look at my Google Calendar. So essentially, anything that I'm getting from Outlook or Google, I have an API that automatically pulls it right into Notion and I know what's actually due. So today I had a barber's appointment. I went ahead and took care of that. So I can mark that as done. You know, on Monday, I have a meeting with a colleague to go over how to how to complete your master's program in one semester that automatically comes here. I don't need to go to Google to go find it. And so the goal with Notion is to bring all of your favorite applications and bring it into one place. Now, I even have a, a morning routine checklist. I like to make sure that I'm consistent and that I'm valuable as a husband, but also as a co-worker and also as, as a leader. So there's certain things that I do every day that I want to keep at the forefront of my mind, as well as how I speak and interact with people. A lot of times, if you don't, you're more more so reacting in the day versus responding because you're getting caught, caught up in text messages and emails 
that you forget that you had a few goals that you needed to take care of today. So I do have a, a checklist that I go, that I actually review before I start my shift. And then I have my habits and routine, routines tracker. So this is where I can do weekly progress. You know, I can look at my current grades. I can do a calendar view. And essentially these are some of the habits. So I have some coming up here that I want to go over for next week. You know, if I go through, you know, get some steps done today, memory training, vocab, house cleaning, things of that nature, the score then goes up, right? So anytime I'm getting 75 above, I'm having a pretty good day on habits. And I can even track this over weeks, months, years, and so forth. But it, it's there. And you probably think, well, how do you knock out all of these habits at the same time? Well, the way this happens is I have this action items group here. So action items, think of that as being a user story or a task if you're using Trello or Microsoft to do. But where I get more granular is there's different types of action items. Some are like one off, none recurring, and some are recurring. And this, this is where it gets back into the, the habits. So since we just talked about habits, I'm going to show you my recurring tasks. So you notice how these are broken out to different times of the day. So what this means is, you know, when I first get up in the morning, I may want to go over my annotations and vocab training. When you're doing a lot of scientific research, you're going to come into numerous types of terms that have a certain position and a different modality that makes no sense to your field at all. You're going to, in order for you to read effectively and learn more, you're going to have to learn those terms. And then this is a very cool app as well. Anything that I read in Kindle or any of the PDF app, as soon as I annotate it, it will actually take that annotation out of Kindle and put it right here in Notion so I can read it later. And so what this does is it uses space repetition. I can automatically review these at a set schedule. It tells me how well I remember it and so forth. And then here, you know, mid morning, this is where I need to be working on my steps. I'm either in the meeting doing this or, you know, sometimes I'm doing this first thing in the morning as I'm walking around the kitchen and doing other things. Uh, I'm also a practicing, practicing mnemonist. Uh, so what we do is we get better at a coding memory, uh, especially if you're going through thousands of books. You need to be able to recall certain pages and paragraphs and, and sentences. Um, that's basically just going to increase your capability to learn more things. That's something I'm, I'm very, very passionate about. And then early in the afternoon, I don't have anything. I like to give myself a little bit of a break. Late afternoon, uh, I then have this thing called discourse analysis. Um, for people who come from a, a law background or they come from a rhetoric background, this is where we take articles or we take arguments or different expositions and we break it down. Like we tell you the fallacies that are in there. Uh, what if they're just having one-sided arguments and so forth. This is what I practice because when I got ready to defend my doctorate degree, I had to anticipate everything they were going to throw at me, right? And this is what I do in a normal, a normal everyday conversation. And then here, uh, this is just being the good husband too. The reason why it's timed is here because if, if you're a husband and you, you know, you clean the house, uh, it doesn't matter if you did it if it's not seen. So this time is right here about the time when my, my wife gets home. And so what I will do is make sure that this gets done as well as, you know, go ahead and do some training note cards right before that time. This keeps me consistent. It could be doing 1015. It could be re reviewing something for a certification and so forth. And remember, I don't have to do all these. It's just a certain percentage. And, and then at nighttime, uh, typically I have to do my meditation. It, it's either a com um, completive meditation or it may be something in stoicism. And I like to read right before I go to bed as well. And then on Sundays, this is the weekly item. This is where I'm doing my planning, like my sprint planning and so forth. So uh, it's pretty cool thing here. And then this is just recurring. And then this other one here is schedule. So, you know, if I have items, it will group it by the days. I can look in there, see when it's actually due and so forth. And that's pretty much how the daily action zone works. I'll show you one last thing here, the alignment zone. So what the alignment zone does is it essentially links all your goals, your values to your action items and so forth, right? So let me let me show you something here. If I go into one of these action items, let's go to, let's say, let's try, try to find a random one. Um, this is actually something I'm doing for Isaac. I'm doing a, a review. If you notice here, it asks me, you know, what time of day you want to do it, how much effort. This allows me to prioritize my tasks. 
Um, when, when are you going to start on it? What is it related to? And the cool thing is once you tag this, it will pull in other relevant articles as well. And here's the goal outcome. Like, why do you want to do this? Well, I want to lead Isaac and engage topics and draft monthly articles. Um, but why? What, what type of value? Well, I want to become a primary contributor at Isaacca, which actually recently happened. But just, just kind of give you an idea of essentially how you can automate a lot of these things. You don't have to keep creating this over and over. And so lastly, we'll look at the alignment zone. This is, you know, take time. If you're, Everybody always says they have goals, but if you don't write them down and you can't point to them, I would challenge you to really think if you do have explicit goals. This, these are just things you have to revisit, especially when you're having a very hard time during the year, where you may want to say, who am I? What is the mission? What do you want to do in life? Who are you going to be valuable for? Like mine is, I just want intellectual autonomy and a, and a diverse set of cerebral capabilities, which I want to be intelligent in different areas so I can benefit multiple people. And I just want to be a good advocate for my friends, my family, and those who are less fortunate. Um, the why behind here, uh, you know, what do I want to do to be able to protect myself from people who are malicious, right? Um, I want to be logically and emotionally resilient. You know, I want to be able to give back to the world. I want to help with clarity and precision and depth and make sure that I have a unique skill set to just retain or re retain myself from nonsensical matters, you know, trivial issues, things of that nature. If you don't write these down, sometimes you do forget your why. And uh, outside of that, you know, I then, all my core values are listed here, the things that I care about in my life. Those are all linked, I'll also linked back. And then also, who are you? If you, there are a lot of different personality assessments out there. One of my favorites is called understandmyself.com. And um, it's based on the big five. It's not based on any type of pseudoscience. So it's not a yes or no, it's always on a scale. And so here, you know, I track down some of my values. What's cool about Notion is that you can put GIFs in here, you can put images, you can put tables, uh, books. I actually have an entire library dedicated in here as well. And then you can even go into, you know, identity. Now, what's cool about the identity is this is specifically from understandmyself.com. Um, it bases your personality on five different areas in here, right? So, you know, I can talk about what level of agreeableness I have or conscientiousness or extroversion. This is a good assessment to do to baseline what your habits are. If you're someone who's very effusive or emotional or impulsive, um, even though it's something you don't want to admit, it's something you may want to just monitor and grade and that way you can be a value to the people that you're around. And so this is something I did. I uh, did it with my best friend, did it with my wife as well. And it allowed me to identify my habits. And that way, when you identify your habits as you're creating your goals, you know what those inhibitors are now. So just wanted to show you guys that. Like I said, a lot of good stuff in here. You know, when I'm creating content, any active training courses are here that I'm working on. They automatically pop up as well as what I'm currently reading or finishing. All my all my libraries automatically sync from Kindle, which is really, really awesome. And then towards the end of the year, like I have my milestones, like in 2021, there was a lot of completed goal outcomes that I did, you know, did a really good year in 2021. Also projects, there's numerous projects that I did, a lot of certifications that I knocked out as well for 2021, and then like action items. And action items get crazy because you have a ton of them, but everything I had to do to complete dissertation, to work with a lot of colleagues is automatically tracked here so yeah um even even training so you know every certification or what i did to prepare for it's here and it's automatically linked i don't have to sit here and, and update it on a weekly basis so this is kind of a glimpse into my workstation look you guys let me know if you like it and if so what we'll do is you tell me what part of the interface you would like to see uh, we'll take a deep dive in it and i'll post some more videos all right, guys, y'all have a great evening, and y'all have a great week as well.